Hey y'all, this is Jen with Sassy Southern and it's a girl. And this is part two of working with this Summer Friends paper collection from Sandy over at Decorate Your Life. So this is my book um, that I did using um, her paper collection. And I did use one of every sheet. Um, and this is what I have so far. So we have this little tuck spot here. We have these two tuck spots. We have this area. We have this tuck spot. We have this, which I did that put that really cute bow there. This is a, a pull up, like a open, like a folio um, area, which I'm gonna put some some ribbon trim there or something. We have this pocket, which we're still working on. We have this tuck spot. We have this pocket, and then we have this area, and then this is the back. Um, and so this video is going to showcase um, the decorating part, um, and then um, I'm going to make another one of these, but like different a little bit. So let's see. I did want to do um, the trim on the back of this, so. I am gonna take my little tape dispenser and set that down. So I think I was gonna use, um, I thought about using some of this. It's like stretchy. And I thought this would be cute right there, like dainty. So I think, I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to cut off this uneven part and I'm going to heat seal it. And to heat seal, if you don't know, you just take a light and like quickly go across it and it just kind of seals it. It like melts the end of it so that it doesn't like have pieces coming out later. Just a little pro tip. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing on this end. Real quick. And then I'm going to hot glue this. So I am going to use my little, my little silicone finger to put this down. And it may not come through. I may not need it, but some of the ribbon is thin and it will come through and I don't want to get burnt. But that just covers up that little piece there. There. So now that white piece is covered with some really pretty trim absolutely love this trim. I got it in a couple of different colors and there's a few more colors I want to actually get it in. And that doesn't like mess it up, make it too thick. But that's really cute. Okay, so there's that part that I wanted to do. Honestly, guys, I don't want to do a whole, whole lot, but like I made a mark here somehow. So I kind of want to cover that up. Let me see what else I have in this little basket of trim. So I don't want to do anything too much. So I have this trim, but it has a couple of little places where the, um, trim was like unfinished there and I don't want that to unravel so I did want to seal that and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down on the flower and that is coming through so I'm going to use this just put a little And that 
one's cute and it kind of goes even though the pink doesn't really but it's okay it's still cute or the peach well it kind of goes with the paper If you wanted to, you could put a little glue on that leaf so that it doesn't come up. So there's that fixed. And now I wanted to put something on that other pocket as well. And then I think I'm going to kind of leave it like that because there was one more thing I wanted to do here, but it's kind of messy and I don't know if I really want to do it. But the paper is just so beautiful. Like, I don't want to do a whole, whole lot of other stuff. But I did want to do a little something on this other pocket here. So I think I want to use this off of the little, um, the little cover sheet. And I'm just going to round these corners a little bit. Actually, I might even cut this down just a titch. Okay. And then we can put that there. That'll be cute. And if you wanted to kind of give it some contrast, if you wanted to give it some contrast, you could ink around the edge. Um, it's not too late. I could still do it. So I'm going to take a Q-tip and do it because I don't want to, um, most of my little dauber things are kind of big. And because I just want to kind of gently do the edges, I'm not like, make it a super big deal. It's easier just to use a Q-tip to kind of ground. And you can do a little bit of ink on the actual, oops, not that much. <laughs> Oh well, you know, just to make it show up a little. Um, and then basically that's all I really want to do to this. Now, if I don't, whatever I don't use in this, like, like these, I could, like these long ones, where are they? These. Um, I could round these corners and put them in here and they can like use them like I could give this to somebody and they could use it or I can cut these into tags and stick them in the little tucks um, you know and give it away and I think I am gonna give this away so this is a hidden giveaway So basically, um, once I've done my other um, my other little book, um, whatever's left, I will put in here as a you know ephemera, journal tags, whatever. But I'll also put some other goodies in here for in the package. And I'm also gonna put. Um, I did also save these because I want to somehow put. 
I don't know that I can fit, like I might have to cut it in half and do it, like maybe down here at the bottom, but I do want to put this in here so that like whoever gets this knows that this is Sandy's collection in case they want to buy this uh, paper collection or, you know, something else. So I think what I'm going to do is put it down here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to put my stamp on the back here. I'll do a little one, probably, like my little little bitty one down here in the corner so that you guys know that I made it. Um, but if you would like a chance to win this um, completed with um, some goodies in it, um, then go to Sandy's website, which is linked in the comments below, and let me know what your favorite paper collection is on her website. Because this is just one of many, my friends. She has quite a few, and they're all beautiful. And then um, in a couple of days, I will come back and do the video for the other book. But please let me know, again, what your favorite collection is. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm really having fun with this because it's, again, making me think outside the box. I'm doing, you know, stuff that I haven't done before. Stuff that maybe takes me a little bit longer. But it's also giving me ideas for my bee junk journal that I'm working on. Um, and this could be a mini junk journal, like I said before, you guys. Um, and before I give this to you, I'll do my other little thing that I was going to do here. Um, basically, all you do is you take a strip of double-sided tape, like a skinny strip, like one of these size, and you put it, like, I would put it from here to the top of here, and then you put, you sprinkle glitter on it, and it sticks to it. It's super cute. Or if you have stickles, you could do that, but the stickles don't give the same effect as real glitter. But then once I do it, I'll probably go over it with, um some Mod Podge or something so it doesn't come off because there's nothing I hate more than glitter everywhere. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you again to Sandy. I'm having a really fun time working with this paper collection. It's just adorable. I absolutely love it. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed rest of your day or evening or morning. Um, whatever part of the world you're in, and I will see you in the next one. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, y'all. Bye.